Hello, and welcome to Rust Electricity for Beginners. My name is Ozzy, and in this episode, we're going to look at some tier 2 components so that we can add another power bank with a backup generator. In this episode, the components we'll be using from the tier 2 workbench are the medium battery, the small generator, and we're also going to add a car lift. And then from the tier 1 workbench, we'll be using a switch, small battery, large solar panel, blocker, some electrical branches, and we'll take a look at the root combiner for the first time. Now if you've been following the series, you'll notice our crops are growing, our furnaces are smelting, we've got a tier 2 workbench now. I've condensed our sprinkler system up here in the corner, and I added another switch to be able to manually control the lights if I'm not using the sprinkler system. Yep. And then we've also expanded the base. I might have done a lot of, a lot of farming. Um, that happened. So we have a lot of room for activities now. Uh, and a garage without a car lift. So we're going to add that car lift. So now that we have more room for activities, we need more power um, for the activities. So while battery placement is super important, and I haven't tried putting a battery in this nook before, um, I don't actually know if this is an intelligent thing to do, but we're going to place it here for now. Then we're going to go up on the roof and we're going to add some solar panels so that we can charge our battery. We're just going to leave that first panel there to charge our first floor still and have a little bit of separation so that if my second floor gets attacked and that battery placement is not actually good, then uh, our first floor is still kind of connected and we can have separate systems. Now batteries only have one... not sure what that was from. Batteries only have one input for power, but I'm trying to connect three solar panels. So what I'll need to do is use a root combiner. A root combiner allows me to take multiple power sources and combine them into a single power input node. So I've got two 20 power solar panels and now connected to one 40 power node. I can also connect these to each other in up to 15, although I do recommend putting them in a tree configuration rather than in series and I recommend putting them inside to protect them but for the convenience of this video um, I'm just going to leave them up top. So we're going to connect this to our battery and now we have 60 power coming in to charge our medium battery. I like having backups so I'm going to add a generator here that I don't need to charge and that all I need to worry about is throwing some fuel into. Now if I place this as is my nodes, my power nodes are going to be on the back side so I'm going to switch this around. Will it place? Will it place? There we go. And then I'm going to use an OR switch. See, my nodes are here on the front now. I'm going to take the power out from the generator and the power out on the battery. And then now if I build my circuit off of this, whether power is coming from my battery or it's coming from the generator, I don't have to play around with wires. It'll just take batter power from whichever one is active and OR gets the most. So I could also use an XOR switch similar to how I used on the bottom, but if my generator accidentally turns on, I don't want my whole system to turn off. So this time I'm going to use an OR switch. So the next thing I can do is since we have force start and force stop nodes on a generator, I can actually tell this to start on its own if my battery ever loses power. Right now I can manually turn it on, but if I'm gone and I have traps powered, I want this to be able to turn on on its own. So first we're going to take the medium battery, we're going to send it through these two electrical branches, and then that last branch output to the ore. Now the goal is to have this battery be able to power the force stop and to be able to tell whatever is trying to turn on the generator not to turn it on while there is power. So our second branch is going to connect to the force stop and then our first branch is going to connect to this blocker. This blocker is going to be connected to some kind of power source which will constantly be trying to turn on the generator. Now that power source can be our batteries from below, I could use the battery back up and branch off, but what I like to do for this system is actually put a small battery right next to the generator. The reason for this is because if this battery is destroyed, the generator probably is also. So keeping them together means 
um, there's a little bit better redundancy to the system. And this doesn't actually drain anything from the battery as long as it's blocked. Even when it's not blocked, it only uses a tiny blip of power in order to start the generator, and then it doesn't drain anymore after that. So I can probably just plop one of these down, and it'll last me the entire wipe. So now, if I lose power to my medium battery, the generator turns itself on, and then if power gets restored to my medium battery, the generator turns itself off, and either way, I have power coming out of my OR switch. So there is our new power bank with backup. And then the last thing we're going to do in this video is I'm going to set up a car lift because we're going to use it a little bit here in the future. Yeah, isn't it birdie? And then I know I want to put a switch on here because I like saving power if I'm not using it. Especially when I don't even have a car yet. And then one of the amazing things that they did to the wire tool is it will now remember what you were doing with your pathing. So if I take a break from putting that circuit down and I need to put a branch here, it'll remember my wires. Isn't it amazing? And then I'm just going to connect this here to this branch, set that to 5, and then connect that to my OR switch. And now, if I turn on the switch, I have power to my vehicle lift. Now I know this was kind of a short video and there wasn't a whole lot in it, but I just wanted to get everything set up, a new power bank, the car lift, the backup generator, so that next time in our videos we can just get straight to the circuitry. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Please leave any questions or comments down below for me, and I will see you all next time.